Your online source for all the top headlines from across the province every Monday and Thursday at bclocalnews.com. Hello everyone, I'm Veronica Duback for bclocalnews.com. Welcome to the Monday edition of the BC Buzz. Here's what happened over the weekend. A shooting in Langley has left one man dead. In Burnaby, one of the city's landmark businesses is still shining bright. And over on the island, the spirit of BC wonders of Oceanside motors on in Parksville. The man who was ambushed and shot, allegedly with automatic weapons, in a Walnut Grove parking lot Friday afternoon has now died. 26-year-old Kevin Robert LeClaire, who was well known to police, succumbed to his injuries Sunday morning in hospital. Police refused to comment on any gang ties that LeClaire may have, but it's been rumored throughout local media outlets that he was an associate of the infamous Bacon Brothers of Abbotsford, two of whom, Jamie and Jared, are due in court on Monday to answer to gun and drug charges. For more on this story, keep checking LangleyTimes.com. Although Burnaby's Galaxy Science has been an area landmark for as long as most Lower Mainland residents can remember, the company's Jim McLeod says life as a neon glass bender has changed. He says new technologies have transformed the sign industry, making neon less popular. Neon once made up half of Galaxy's total orders. Now, it's less than a quarter. McLeod says the majority of their work is now a hybrid using both neon and LED lights. Galaxy's signs can be seen throughout Metro Vancouver. For more on this story, visit theburnabynewsleader.com. The Mid-Island region is invited to share the community spirit as the province nears the start of the 2010 Winter Olympics. Oceanside Spirit of BC Committee hosts a series of community events during Spirit Week, February 6th to 14th. On Sunday, some of the area's top destinations, resorts, outdoor activities, restaurants, shops, and more, were in the Qualicum Beach Civic Centre. The event was a chance to preview the area's top spring and summer events, and for business owners to share thoughts on how the Mid-Island will benefit from the 2010 Winter Games. Watch www.pqbnews.com and the Twice Weekly News for a schedule of Spirit Week events. For the Parksville Qualicum Beach News Online, I'm Steve Haywood. Well, that's a wrap for this Monday's edition of the BC Buzz. For more on these headlines and others from across the province, come back and visit us again at bclocalnews.com. I'm Veronica Duback, and I'll see you next time.